for today's headlines. Philippines records over 6,000 new COVID cases. Duterte Mall's meeting predecessors to discuss West Philippine Sea issue. Government suspends OFW deployment to Israel. Pinoy jeans begin quest for Olympic slots. Rabia Mateo to start showbiz career. Google to open physical store in New York. Cloudy skies, scattered rain showers seen. Good morning. I am Sandy Locos and you are watching Tribune News and Q. Today is Friday, March 21, and now the news. The Department of Health on Thursday tallied 6,100 new COVID-19 cases five days after the government placed the national capital region and four nearby provinces of Bulacan, Cavite, Laguna, and Rizal, collectively known as NCR Plus, under general community quarantine with heightened restrictions. The additional cases pushed the total infections in the country to 1,165,155, of which 51,912 51, are tagged as active cases. Of the active cases, 93.1% are in mild condition, 2.1% are asymptomatic, 2% are severe, 1.31% are moderate, and 1.5% are in critical condition. Meanwhile, the total recovery tally is now at 1,093,002 after 4,071 more patients recovered from the illness. The death toll climbed to 19,641 after 135 more fatalities were recorded. President Rodrigo Duterte is said to be considering inviting former presidents to discuss issues concerning the West Philippine Sea, Malacanang said on Thursday. This, according to Palace spokesman Secretary Harry Roques, is an alternative to an earlier proposal made by former military chief and Senator Rodolfo Biason to convene the National Security Council and tackle the territorial dispute between the Philippines and China. Roque, however, did not mention if former President Noy Noy Aquino will be among those who will be invited in the said meeting. The President has repeatedly blamed the Aquino administration for Beijing's seizure of Scarborough Shoal, a rich fishing ground located 194 nautical miles west of Zambales and is within the Philippines' exclusive economic zone. No definite date has been set yet. The Philippine government has temporarily suspended the deployment of migrant workers to Israel due to the armed conflict in the Middle Eastern region. Labor Secretary Silvestre Bello III announced on Thursday that no Filipino worker would be allowed to fly to Israel to ensure their safety amid the brutal Israeli-Palestinian hostilities which has so far killed at least 240 people. The application process processes of those who qualified for deployment, however, will continue. Bello likewise said the government has been preparing to repatriate Filipino workers who wish to return to the country. The government has raised Alert Level 1 over Israel and the West Bank while Alert Level 2 was raised in Gaza. According to the Department of Foreign Affairs, voluntary repatriation would be implemented once Alert Level 3 is raised in the region. Tribune News on 2 will be back after these reminders. Hatch something big! The all-new Honda City Hatchback with four seating modes. Utility mode. Long mode. Tall mode. Refresh mode. The all-new City Hatchback. Hatch more life.
Veneta City, home to the country's first indoor shopping mall, the world's original thriller, and the first ever Beanie Beanie pageant. Now a place for your first win, your first catch, your first home, your first big break, your first date, and even your first love. Araneta City, the city of firsts. Fiber is the free and secure way to connect with friends and family anywhere. Send messages and make phone and video calls for free. Download Viber now. It's make or break for the four Filipino take wonder jeans when the Asian Olympic Qualification Tournament takes center stage today and tomorrow in Amman, Jordan. Only finalists in every weight class will be assured of slots in the Tokyo Olympics with Pauline Lopez, the 2019 Southeast Asian Games gold medalist leading the charge. Joining Lopez are Arvin Alcantara, Kurt Barbosa, and Kirsty Alora, who arrived in the Jordanian capital on Wednesday from Manila. They will be coached by Dindo Simpao. After falling short of copying the country's fifth Miss Universe crown, Rabia Mateo recently bared plans of exploring other career paths, including a possible showbiz tip. Rabia, who is currently exploring the United States by her loan sum, said she will be in a social media hiatus and regroup before she tries her hand in acting. The Ilonga Beauty Queen's journey of conquering the universe came to a screeching halt after failing to advance to the top 10, having to just settle as among the top 21 semi-finalists. In other news, tech giant Google recently announced the opening of its first ever physical retail store in New York City later this year. This, as Google takes a more aggressive move into gadgetry in competition with Apple. The retail outlet is set to open in the neighborhood of Chelsea, where the company has a large regional office being manned by 11,000 New York-based employees. At the Google Store, customers will be able to browse and buy an extensive selection of products made by Google, ranging from, from Pixel phones to Net products, Fitbit devices, to pixel books and more. The intertropical convergence zone affecting southern Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao will bring cloudy skies with scattered rain showers and thunderstorms. Metro Manila and the rest of the country, meanwhile, will be affected by the easterlies, resulting in partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rains. Today's temperature is pegged at 27 to 36 degrees Celsius while the relative humidity will play between 39 and 77 percent. That wraps up the stories this morning. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph, and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. The Daily Tribune is one with the nation in facing the COVID-19 crisis, and in line with this, the Daily Tribune Digital Edition on Press Reader is now available for free online. You can also download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store or Google Play to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune is also inviting everyone to join its community Viber Kachibu to get updates on the freshest and hottest news and entertainment stories of the day. Tarsito emoticons are also available on our community Viber just visit the sticker store and search for Kachibu Community. And before we go, we would like to thank the SM Store and Araneta Center. Again, this is Sunny Locus and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good morning and have a nice day.